everyone, welcome back to our channel. We're Megan Morgs, and in today's video, we are in Hoi An, Vietnam. We arrived here this morning, we got the bus from Hue. Um, took around four hours, I believe. Yeah, about three, four hours. It just depends on who your driver picks up along the way. But um, it cost us 170,000. So um, it was a very like luxurious bus. Yeah, it was a nice bus. It was one of the sort of like VIP type ones. Yeah, it was very bougie. But the, yeah, so that was good. We booked that with our accommodation. We're just always amazed by like how organised they are with transportation and stuff. Like it's so easy to book. Like honestly, it's so easy to get around. No matter where you want to get to, you'll be able to book it. This morning, for example, they had a van that came round and obviously picked lots of different tourists up from the local area and then took you to exactly where the bus would come and pick you up from, and then you wait there rather than. You know, you happen to find your own way to the bus stop. Yeah. Like we've been sort of doing all the, all the other countries that we've been to. So you're not just paying for sort of that service. You're paying for the service of them sorting everything out for you, booking your seats. And then also your transport to the place where your bus usually picks you up. It's, yeah, it's really good. It is really good, yeah. This evening we're having a little walk around the, um, the old quarter in Hoi An. There's supposed to be some lovely buildings and stuff like that. Megan's warned me that apparently we might get approached by some official looking people telling us that we need to pay some money in order to walk around the area but apparently that's false, you don't need to pay if you're going into some of the old buildings so just uh, something to watch out for. It's just what know. I've um, been told by one of our friends who've been here before. Yeah so just something for you to look out for as well, we'll see if we uh, we get stopped and we'll let you know. We're just walking around Poyan and just getting lost in this big maze of huge markets. No idea where we are or where we're going. No, we're, we're kind of just it. yeah, we're just kind of walking aimlessly and then having a look at everything everyone's got for sale and stuff like that. And almost bought a shirt, but um, they quoted me like 200 at the start and then 250 afterwards, and I was just like, they're obviously not. Morgan wasn't in the mood for bartering. No, maybe I'll go back and. At some point. But it's like when you don't need stuff, I don't know. Especially That's one the best time to barter because you can walk away. Yeah. So you get a better price. It's true. Maybe we'll go back and have a go. Hi, same as me. We've got our bar me from bar me. Huang. But. Megan suggested this actually, apparently it's uh, world famous for them being the best farm me. But um, it was, who was it Megan? Anthony, Anthony Bourdain? Anthony Bourdain, yeah. I think he came a long time ago, so yeah. I, I doubt it's exactly the same farm me that he had, but let's give it a taster, shall we? Yeah. Oh, it's good. So we got three, we got chicken and cheese, um, beef and cheese and then barbecue pork and that came to 105,000 so we've just walked down we bought a cold drink we've got our bar meats tiny seats and we're by the river Very pretty. Very busy. <laughs> Very busy and the queue for the boats is insane. <laughs> yeah, it's well worth doing. Meg's tired, so uh, I'm on a solo mission this morning. One of my friends from home recommended a farm me place just uh, around the corner actually from where we're staying, which is nice. So I'm gonna go there and get some breakfast and um, then I'm on a mission to sort this barnet out, get it cut short again. And, um, and after that, there's some nice bakeries near here as well. So I'm gonna go and get some uh, pastries, take back from egg, and maybe I'll get one for myself and, and a coffee. But yeah, I'll take you along with me this morning. Heard good things about this, uh, this barbers as well. So fingers crossed, it's always a nerve wracking thing being away from home and getting your hair cut. So that cost me 35,000 dong, so just over a pound. 
and it was really good. So I appreciate that recommendation, Trickers. Probably come back there. It just shows as well, like that one that I just had it was probably better than that one I had last night the, from the shop that was supposed to be the world's best bar me or whatever. And there's literally no one there. Today we've just had some lunch and we've come out and we're at Anbang Beach. So we're going to spend the afternoon on the beach and a swim in the ocean sounds so nice right now. Yeah, I know. It was so hot and I was thinking like, oh, what can we do? just because like we didn't want to walk around in the heat but then we didn't want to sit in the room and waste our last few days here but yeah so we're going to spend the day well the afternoon at this lovely beach so we've decided not to ride scooters here just because it is a bigger city and we are still learning and getting better i don't know some um, of those junctions look scary don't they yeah. like 100 different motorbikes all crossing across each other i just don't fancy it so we just got a grab here it took about 10 15 minutes yeah less than maybe two pounds yeah it was like 55 Okay, so between us, so yeah, we we'll spend the afternoon at the beach. Thought it rolled in, but it was such a nice afternoon at the beach. Also, it's got so busy. All the Vietnamese people have finished work and stuff like that, and I've gone down and yeah, seen with their nice kids. Though. I, I like that. Even putting up little like restaurants on the sand and everything like that. People are getting like noodles and stuff like delivered. that delivered to their towel. Yeah, fair play. I love yeah. it. Excellent. We're going to get a grab back now though and then um, have a shower well, and that was some such dinner. a nicer beach than we expected. Yeah, definitely. If you're in Hoi An, definitely get down to the beach for an afternoon. It is well worth it. You can rent like bicycles as well. If it wasn't so hot, we probably would have done that because it looks like a nice cycle, but yeah. we just got a grab. I definitely recommend that uh, burger place. It's a bit more expensive. I think it probably cost us like ten pounds for both of us for our meal. But it yeah, it's quite expensive, but it is good. This morning, one of the more famous things to do in Hoi An is go on the uh, the basket boats. Yeah. So they take you out on this circular shaped wooden boat along the. Uh, it's like a little river delta, I think, isn't it? Yeah. It's supposed to be really fun, and I think if you pair that extra, they'll like spin you around and things. I think it should be quite fun. I reckon it'll be nice. Plus, it'll be just be like relaxing going through all of the, like, the plants and things. Well, we like think that. it'll be a relaxing. Yeah. So it was 115,000 foot each. Sorry. And then uh, we got a grab here, which cost us like 90k. 90. Yeah. But. Um, the cheapest way to do it, to be honest, is to do it yourself like that. There's loads of tours you can book through hostels and booking agencies, but it's a lot more expensive. Yeah, and you can do like a full day or like a half day thing where you are. Uh, where you get sure. lunch with it. And then they come and like pick you up and all that sort of stuff. And I think it works out at like $25 or something like that. Yeah. So it just depends what you want to do. And then you can get like a cooking class, I think, combined. Yeah. And, yeah. Yeah, yeah, we've heard from people the basket boat and cooking class combo is really good but if you want to do that as well guess it just depends what you want i think we're here <laughs> So nice. Like now I've got a very fetching hat. Mm. I love them. They're Keep actually the they're so head. good at keeping the sun off you. We decided to come at about half past eight in the morning, so it wasn't too early to get out of bed. But I think we did well though, it's not too hot. But I mean it's still a bit busy, but apparently it does get really busy as well. Yeah. Sort of. It's lovely. I recommend it. We can hear, can some, hear some, music some sort of karaoke in the background, so this could be could be interesting.
Morgan's took over the reins and we're going in circles. You want to go here? Good job, yeah, bad people. Oh, good, good, bro. Oh, good job, Mark. Good job. I'm a professional. Recommend it. I definitely you recommend the basket bikes. Didn't take that long either. Yeah, it was like a 45 minutes to an hour, something like that, I think. But yeah, really recommend it and it's just fun. And if you're wanting to get like spun around or do the karaoke or the fishing, bring some extra money because you have to sort of like pay for each stop off along the way. Um, but we we had a really great time and we didn't pay for any of the extras. No, but again, you can do and then just give your driver like a little tip at the end. Your driver? Your driver. Well, I, he's not a captain. <laughs> I guess she was our captain. But yeah, it's nice. And she did that little spinning around for us at the end as well. Yeah, I wouldn't cute. want to be spun around on the really fast one. She made me dizzy just after like that. Oh, I guess you can do like a, a river cruise as well. Probably coming from the No, go in the, the main basket boat. But yeah. on one of those. Now it's time to get a grab back and then I can hopefully finally get this hair cut. It's mop cut. Yeah getting a bit afro light now. Why? So for those keeping count, Morgan has broken another pair of sunglasses. Well, we did, I didn't break them. I just looked in my pocket and they were broken. Oh. That pair number, no, it's number six. This will be number seven, I think. Or will this be number six? <laughs> it's one for every country that we've been in, basically. She's not impressed, are you, Meg? <laughs> That's the end of our time in Hoi An and unfortunately the end of our time in Vietnam. We are so sad to leave, honestly, we've had such a great time so here. Good. Like we just can't describe it. The country, like the people are so friendly, the food's great, scenery unmatched, like we can't recommend it enough. Definitely. But we really hope you've enjoyed this series. We've loved making it. It's just been so fun. It's and been the best. we are about to head to country number six on this trip. So if you're interested in seeing what we get up to in Cambodia, then keep an eye out. And as always, we'll see you in the next one.